Well, good afternoon to you. Things had been building up very nicely over the last couple of days in the lead up to this game, but as you can see, the last couple of hours are a rather different story. The weather has decided not to play ball. The conditions here are a long way from ideal. It is teeming with rain, and that has left both teams contemplating very different challenges. It's almost old style. Understandable looks of concern on the faces of managers, officials, players and fans alike. Is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world it appears to be a 4-4-2 formation Jim well what I like about this system Peter is the way in which both central midfielders have to work in tandem if one opts to go forward the other sits and when one moves either side to snuff out an attack the other will will hold the central ground communication is obviously vital to make it a success but this team knows what it's doing and I think we're going to see that reflected they've got on the way here pretty promptly barely had to move that's just literally playing into his hands he's looked long this time goes long and he's there to clear it drives it towards the front Let down by a lack of accuracy and here's the chance to shoot Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. A 1-0 lead established. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And that's a throw in. into a dangerous position he's pinged one through here he gets past his man he wasn't very far from making something happen by himself lovely to see goes direct to the front line to Procha with the challenge and he has given away a free kick
battles to win it back. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. First 45 minutes are up. And here we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. Only been that one goal, it is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. And if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. There's the start of the second half. Kortrijk need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by. Just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced... That's surely a foul free kick. making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front and this is something different and the shot he's got away with one there well it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in there and I have to say a very lucky escape you lose it there you expect to be punished to get it forward quickly out to the left it goes your impression so far Jim? well at the moment their chances of getting back in contention look slim they're not exerting enough pressure simple as that towards the front line played towards the front men he's made sure that that won't get oh that is asking for trouble Peter they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver gets it back it's a loose ball Ghent are looking to make this one safe they want to reduce the risk a really good feat he's got options in the box if he gets his head up gets up to head it oh taken with style they have grabbed themselves an equaliser Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So here comes a substitution. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Listen, with the momentum that goal gives them now, they may well push for a winner before the 90 minutes is up. Players don't like extra time, believe me.
time added on will be two minutes. He's gone for it! Oh, fine stop! That's it, they're going to get 30 minutes more. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints really because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal and it always lacked that spark. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. test this for the endurance for the character of the players as we head into extra time Kortrijk did fantastically well to force extra time having been on the brink of defeat in normal time in fact you could say they're the better off of the two teams at least psychologically good challenge he just stood firm over to the left Goalkeeper's ball. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Keeper sends it forward. Offo. Departure. it for the first half of extra time well it may well be a case of who's got most to give now fitness levels look good and it's not any less competitive So the last chance to find a winner. This has been enthralling. So what do the last 15 minutes have left? And it's played forward. Pings it out wide. Ball is over the line. Now the cross. And he's there to cut it out. And here's the Quatra. The Quatra. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Cuts it out. And that's it. Nothing to separate them. It is penalties. I can only applaud the sheer doggedness and tenacity on show in watching both teams refusing to lose. I mean, they both ran their socks off. It has gone the full distance and then some. It will be decided by penalties. Right on the edge. Feel the moment. So, the first penalty. 
And he's found the net. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Cooley done, one each. Always a little more pressure when you're trailing, but it didn't show. It's in, and the keeper could have done better. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Would have taken the keeper with it. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Keeper's read that beautifully. I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. That's how it's done. He made the keeper commit. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper either. And he puts it away. It's three apiece. And stepping up, the skipper. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Poor strike at the point of no return. It's there, and the fight goes on. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. And now we're into the realms of sudden death. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Calmly, he puts the ball down on the spot. Portraik must score to keep their hopes alive. Oh, it's been saved! And that's it! So after a grueling game that went all the way, the winner is decided on penalties.